So we are going to solve problem 3.14 from study book. So the question is find V0 using nodal analysis. V0 is here. And as you saw, I will cite the ground first. The ground is always at the bottom of the circuit. I always set in the bottom of the circuit. So it makes things easier. So first of all, we are need to find this V0. So naturally, I will take the node that closer to that point. So I will name this one as node A, and we will work from here. And this one, this one is voltage source from the ground, but the polaris, the polarity is this one is positive and this one is negative. So in this node, it has to be fifty volt lower than the ground so here we will have the voltage of minus 50 and this one is 100 volt so this will have value of 100 volt from the ground and we will assume the current that goes in is from here because this is the current source and then I will assume that this current will go there and this go there and this go there it's just an assumption so you can make the arrows anywhere but yeah this is our assumption and let me take a look at node A So we have the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. Now we have this current that goes in and the value is 12.5 and then we have the another current that goes in here but we don't know the value of this voltage at this point yet so we will name that point as B and this current is VB minus VA over 2 and then the current that goes out oh this is wrong so this one is also goes in so we plus it and the current that goes out is VA this one over 4 and then plus this one VA minus minus 50 that's become plus and it's divided by 8 <coughs> so we multiply both sides by 8 we will get 100 plus 4 VB and then minus 4 VA is equal to 2 VA plus VA plus 50 and we will Simplify this 100. I will move the VB over there and this also over there. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 VA and this, this part 4 VB plus 50 plus 50 we move to the left side so it's become 50 it is easier when we write this one over there so let us just save this as first equation and then we need this VB so 
so we will take a look at these notes so this one is current source so the arrows will go there and because this one is also goes out I will assume this will go in and now we take a look at node B we will have the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out so the current that goes in is here 100 minus VB over 1 there is no other current that goes in so now the current that goes out this one is 12.5 and then this one is VB minus VA over 2 so we multiply both sides by 2 200 minus 2 VB equal to 25 plus VB minus VA so we will get this one I will move this over there and I get 175 and still minus VA and I will move this minus 2 VB to the right side and I will get 3 VB and it is easier when we move this into that and we save this equation as equation number 2 now we will need to solve for VA so we need to eliminate the, the VB and this one is 4 and this one is 3 I can cancel each other by making this 12 so I will multiply number 1 by 3 and I will multiply equation number 2 by 4 and equation number 1 we multiply it by 3 so I will get 21 VA minus 12 VB is equal to 150 and the second one multiply by 4 I get minus 4 VA plus 12 VB and then we get 175 times 4 it will be 700 and we can cancel this by adding the two and we will get this one 21 minus 4 is 17 17 VA is equal to 850 and we can solve this as VA is 54 and now VA is not what what they ask they ask for V0 but V0 is equal to VA so yes we get V0 it is 54 and this is our final answer 54 okay thank you for watching let me know if you find any mistakes thank you